Hello and welcome. It's Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson broadcasting live. Today's game from Doctor Stadium. We couldn't have asked for better conditions here. Has to be said, there's plenty of empty seats around. And joining me in the box for some special comments will be Gary Lyon. What a game we have here today, Hutto. There's been quite a build-up for this one. Today's match, Fremantle and Geelong. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. We are Geelong. We're always on the ball. We play the game. It's a big day for the, the Cats defenders. They can stop Fremantle from being dominant inside 50. They've got a big chance to win this. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. Fremantle winning the toss. What an exciting matchup we have here today. And here we go. It's a Dockers taking on Geelong. Has it now. Gives the old don't argue. She gets her hands on the footy. Hacking it out of there. Picked off by Taylor. Fights the good fight. Gets it out of congestion. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Movement by hand. Antonio picks it up. Fantastic tackle. Soccer's a kick. Bowers hacking it out of there. Wants to play on. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Clears the congestion. Scoops up the ball. Oh, we will get a stoppage. Guides it down. Here's McWilliams. Spent that one before she earned it. Last goal now, heading to the bench for a break. It'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Slapped away. Couldn't keep the ball in play. We'll get a ball in. Thrown in now. McWilliams with a punch. Gets on the end of this. Morrison was taken high in the tackle. Moves the ball by foot. Purcell takes the mark. 45 metres out. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for goal number one. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Purcell celebrating hard. Geelong gets the first. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We're back in motion. One down. Bowers down. Ends up turning this ball over. Looks to move it by foot. Finds this one all by herself. Harris goes with the kick. A good mark out of the circumstances. Morrison going for distance with the kick. Goes off the ground. Just gets a boot to it. Gets a quick kick away. Takes a simple grab. Uses it by foot. Takes the mark. Puts it on the boot. She takes the mark. Keeps the kick low. Marks that ball uncontested. Intercepts the ball well. 
Moved on by Cranston. Takes an uncontested mark. Going for goal number one. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. Congratulated by her teammates. 12 points the difference. We resume hostilities. Taps it down. Goes for territory. Handballs intercepted by Antonio. Oh, what a hang. Stewart with a chance, if she can keep her cool. Stewart has resources out wide. Big kick required from this distance. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Coughed up by McMahon. Fremantle behind by 11. Goring to bring it back into play. Decides to play on. Elects to kick. A good mark out of the circumstances. Clark drives the kick. Good mark and looks to send it back. Tries to gain some territory. Kicks hurriedly. Hunted her down beautifully and wins the free. Outstanding pressure. Goes by foot. They chase after the loose ball. Gets the loose ball. Kirk loves the handball. Ball gets cut off. Horton powers through the tackle. She gets her hands on the footy. A chance for Gwen. What a goal by Duffy. The teammates rush over. The game continues to remain close. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. Thump by Boyd. Finds the loose ball. Kicks hurriedly. Cranston turns a free kick. Decides to kick. Great mark under pressure. Tips it towards half forward. O'Sullivan marks. Gets a hand in. They can create from this. Slams it onto the boot. She finds herself in space and marks. Keeps moving. Couldn't complete the mark. Wins the race to the ball. And now we'll have a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Just gets it onto the boot. Takes a nice mark. Uses it now. Terrific mark there. Antonio goes with the kick. Takes that one strongly. Slams it on the boot. Takes it well. Here's a chance for Sharp. A chance to put them in front. A drop cut through the goals. That's her first. Sharp getting the crowd involved. Fremantle have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Fremantle grab the lead. Winning it was Boyd. She's got the footy in her hands. We are coming up to the end of the opening turn. Clifford sends one up towards the wing. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Moves the ball by foot. Bowers read it best. The end of the final term sees the scores stand. The Dockers 13 to Geelong 12. Fremantle came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Fremantle lead the contested possession at the moment and they're converting that lead into scoreboard pressure. Thanks, Gaz. Ready to go for the second turn. About to resume play. Swats it. Gathered by Harris. The ball will be coming back. Maskell rushes with the kick. Picked off the deck. Giving it off was Antonio. Maskell just threw it. Taken well at ground level by Purcell. Finds a target. Chips it towards half forward. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch.
Miller, just too high with the tackle. Moved on by McMahon. Van der Heuvel marks in a bit of space. Sinks the slipper into it. Hickey will be upset with that. Gathers it now. Duffy just throws it. Looks to move it by foot. Strong mark in the contest. A low stabbing kick. And the mark will be paid. Kick by O'Connor. Picks it up. Goes with the kick. The ball ends up going to ground. Just gave it away. The handball hits the target. Bowers can link up through hands. Dug out the loose ball. She can put it through. Through for a minor score. The margin is two. Gory looking for options now. An easy grab for Kirk. At full stride, receives the handball. Blakeway gains possession. Keeps it moving. She's got the football now. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Fremantle with a handy break. They lead Geelong. 15 to 12. Can't take the mark. Blakeway picks up the loose ball. Thumps it clear. Green brushed off easily. Takes the mark all by herself. Hickey kicks hurriedly. Maskell gets the loose ball. A bit too hard with a push, and it's a free kick. Stabs at the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Spears the ball. A mark by Kirk. Kirk kicks it to the square. Nobody can hold on here. Bowers wins the foot race. Bowers won herself a free. Got boot to ball. The loose ball picked up. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Now we will get a ball up. Punches it clear. Ends up with Lakeway. Hacking it out of there. Gets into a good position to take that. Punches the kick. Bowers just put it on the boot. Collects the loose ball. Williams misses there. Fremantle, 16. Like the Cats, 12. A chance to gather the ball. Mops up the loose ball. What a goal! Williams puts her first goal on the board. They get around her after that effort. That's three in a row for Fremantle. The lead is now 10. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Geelong can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this game. She has the ball. Takes a strong mark. With a driving kick. Sam grabs that one. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot at goal. Stewart going for number one. Horton takes the mark and contested. Bands crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. That will settle her nerves, gets her first on the ball. A time to celebrate, and don't they get around? Horton. The ball mopped up. Karras will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Winning the ball in the air was Lakeway. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Antonio has it. Chose to kick it. Set over the top. 
puts it on the boot. Ball up calls. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Doing well to intercept that kick. Moves it by foot. Nice mark under pressure. The kick from Seth. Finds a target. Stewart to have the shot from outside 50. Going for goal number one. Ball rushed through from behind. Fremantle have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. The tackle deserves the free and gets it. Fantastic pressure there. A chance here to convert for Fremantle. 45 metres out. Looks up with the kick. Ball picked up. Blakeway can test the hard ball. No questions about that decision. It's half time, Gaz. What are your thoughts at the major break? Fremantle will go into the rooms at half time with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Anything to add, Gaz? Fremantle getting plenty of possessions at the moment. Thanks for that, Gaz. It's half time, and we'll be back soon for the second half. The third quarter about to get underway. Thrashes it. He's in her possession. Green. Finds possession. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. Karras couldn't stick the tackle. Where moves it now? Took her eyes off the ball. Hickey collects the loose ball. Cranston gains some territory. Off the deck. Bandy Huvel fends off the tackle. Off hands. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Mick Williams looking a bit sluggish out there. A big contested grab. Elects to kick. Miller determined to reach the ball. Intercepted. Getting pushed out of the way was Miller. Just gets a hand in. Just put it on the boot. Over the top of the pack. Plays on. Green elects to kick. Great grab. 35 metres out. Miller with the opportunity. Wow! How good was that? This kick stretches the lead. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Fremantle could have kicked the last six goals. Now they lead by 29. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Geelong needs to do a better job and gain more clearances at the moment. They're getting beaten in the contest and it's affecting the scoreboard. Karras just gets it out of the boot. Antonio, hurried kick. Uses it by foot, squeezes out a handball. Bowers wins it back. Clark dug out the loose ball. The umpire calls for it. Punched away. Just dismisses her opponent. Puts boot to ball. Mascol takes a strong mark. Keeps the kick low. Needs a bit of a rest. She takes aim. Big kick required from this distance. Decides to kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Goes with the kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Goes by hand to Skinner. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. 
Miller puts it on the boot. Horton clean from the half volley. She gets another possession. Brown gives away a free for in the back. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Fremantle Clee is now 30. Gorey buying up the options now. McMahon marks uncontested. Fremantle just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. She can't hold the mark. The lead is now 31. Looking to bring it back into play. Whoa! What about the view from up there? Goal scoring opportunity for Sharp. 40 metres out. Going for goal number two. Always look like a behind. They're really struggling in front of goal. Fremantle, Gleek Geelong, 44 to 12. Fremantle have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Going for number one. Fremantle fans getting excited about that one. That pushes the lead further out. She acknowledges the crowd. 38 points the difference. Back in the middle now. Slapped away. Green collects it. Hacks it out of there. Good body work to win the mark. Puts it on the boot. Good mark by Stewart. She's in charge of the ranking points. She's on fire at the moment. Going for goal number one. A chance to reload the attack now. Works the ball up the ground. Seth wins the ball in the air. Decides to play on. Seth throws the ball away. McMahon uses it by foot. Off hands from Sharp. Haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She hasn't had the impact we were expecting. She couldn't get the hand pass away, so she just threw it. Does well to cut off the kick. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Right. Now it's a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. The umpire calls for a stoppage. One down. Soccer's at forward. Contest the hard ball. It's a free kick for Freeman. Lining up for goal. 65 metres out. Finding the loose ball was O'Connor. Elects to kick. Good mark by Rankin. She spears the ball. McWilliams there to mop up. Clark. She looks like she needs a spell. Gaz, what do you think of that? Fremantle will want to keep the foot on the accelerator and finish this last quarter strongly. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Fremantle a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Thanks for that. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Tough one to handle for Morrison. Harris has put it on the boot. Nice hands. <laughs> Going for goal number one. Darby creates a goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong produced the margin. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now.
She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle. Tap down. Antonio on the ball. Lucky to be on the receiving end of that decision. Miller kicks it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Got boot to ball. The mark has been taken. Moved on by Hickey. A chance to reload the attack now. Lining up for goal. 45 metres out. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. Port gets towards the goals. He sums up the situation and delivers. No doubt about it. This kick puts them further into the lead. Pretty happy with that one. We're back in the middle to resume play. Fremantle need to be far more competitive with their clearance work. They can't win games that way. Elected to play on. A spearing kick. Taylor wins the ball in the air. 50 metres from home. 45 degree angle for this shot at goal. Going for goal number one. Goal! Taylor love kicking that one. Geelong trying to get back to a manageable score. Umpire ready to resume play. Won it down. This is Vander Heuvel. Boyd rushes with the kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Move it on. She drives it towards goal. It's offline. A goal there. Could have got them going. The Cats now only trail by 31. Fremantle have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Marks now and can send it back. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Kane just threw it. They really need a goal on the board now. Geelong, still a fair way back here. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Darby might have overworked herself there. It always looked close, but hits the post. Geelong, still hopeful of reducing this margin. Gooch decides to go herself. Drives the kick hard. Does well to cut off the kick. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. She decides to go for home. Taylor just fends off her opponent. And she's missed. Geelong trying to work their way back on the scoreboard. Ivy just landed in her back. Uses it now. Doesn't take the mark. Darby gets a quick kick away. Thank you. Clears the contest. Gone! What a tackle! Great tackle! Fantastic tackle. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kane has resources out wide. Pushing it back. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Works it across the ground. O'Sullivan was surrounded. She needed to mark that, and she did. Finds this and marks well. Kick by Miller. Intercepts the ball well. Puts boot to ball. Drops the ball. Manning. Gathers it now. Quickly onto the boot. Manning. Great mark. <laughs> the kick from O'Sullivan. Antonio marks it. Heads long with that kick. Bree failing to get near it, Gaz. Yeah, she's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Great tackling technique. 
started the kick wide and it never came back. Fremantle lead by 29. Unsure of their next move. A chance to gather the ball. Rushes with the kick. Boy kicks in heavy traffic. Fumbles the ball. Picked up now. Cleanly picked up. Holding the ball. Now under duress. Great tackling there, Hutto. Rankin gets on the end of this. Fremantle haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. O'Sullivan moves it now. Webster doesn't quite with a leap. Slick with the hands. Ends up with Breslow. Ineffective handball. Finds the loose ball. The loose ball picked up. Just releases the ball. Receives the handball and takes off. Linking by hand. Duffy keeps coming. Oh, she's missed it. It goes through for yet another behind. The margin is 30. Gorey looking to bring it back into play. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Good mark and looks to send it back. 45 metres out. She likes her chances from here. Green just gets enough distance on the kick and it's a goal. She's bagged a couple now. They stretch their lead with that effort. Smiles all round. Boy just swats it away. What a win. What a comeback from Fremantle. Gaz, what really stood out for you today? A massive missed opportunity for the Cats. They got themselves into a good position and then just fell apart at the seams. A really disappointing result. At the end of the match, Fremantle defeated Geelong. 9, 10, 64 to 4, 4, 28. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.